Okay, so the other day on one of my videos, I got this comment asking uh, if we could just bulk download some wallpapers for a laptop using a bash script. So that's that's what we're going to do today. So we're better than uh, wallpapers.com. Why wallpapers.com? Because that's uh, one of the first websites that come up when I search wallpapers, download, desktop, something like that. So I searched for that and I found this website. And sure enough, it's pretty easy to pull down some wallpapers, a bunch of wallpapers from here. Now, uh, some websites are dynamic. Uh, I mean, I'm sure the site is somewhat dynamic, but some, what's nice about dynamic websites is lots of times they'll load up lists of stuff like the list of wallpapers in a properly formatted file, like a JSON file. If it did that, we could just pull that JSON file, get the file names and download them. This website doesn't do that. Not a big deal uh, because we're just going to pull the page and scrape it using cut and grep and that sort of stuff. So we're just going to basically dig through the HTML. So real quick, here we are at the website. Let's just look at an example. So wallpapers with an s.com because there's also a wallpaper.com. Click top. So I'm assuming these are like the top wallpapers. And right here we have, we have a bunch of different categories and we got laptop wallpapers and we click on that and we have a bunch of wallpapers. Great. So let's go ahead and just copy this URL. We'll go to our shell and uh, I'm in an empty directory here and I'm going to start writing the code in the shell. It's usually how I start and then I'll bring that into Vim as we get a little bit further into it. Uh, but if I use wget and I uh, just say dash capital dash, that's an O as in the letter O, not like a zero. Uh, that's just going to dump the output to the screen, which is what I want for right now. I'll give it that URL and it's going to give us an error. It's a forbidden error, uh, which you'll get sometimes when you're trying to log into a website. This website doesn't have any login. So what, what's causing that? Well, their website is checking the user agent. So when you go to a website with a web browser, the web browser tells the website, yes, I am uh, Firefox running on Debian Linux, this version of Linux and this version of Firefox. And the website, most websites don't care. They might log that, you know, for their references, but some will block certain things. And by default, when we're using wget, we're telling the website, yeah, we're using wget. So they're going, <laughs> wget, you're trying to scrape. We don't want any scraping. Um, so we just need to give another user agent because the user agent is just a string of text that your web browser sends. And you can even set your web browser to give fake uh, user agents. We can do the same thing with wget. And the thing is, the website isn't looking for a specific user agent. It's just looking at it and going, your wget, I don't want it. So we can literally put any string of text as the user agent that we want. So let's run that command again. Uh, but we're going to give it a dash dash user dash agent. Uh, and I forget if that's equals and quotations or if it's just quotation. I, th I think it's just the next line. And again, we can look up, you know, if we want to pretend to be Mozilla Firefox on a Windows machine or Internet Explorer on a Windows machine, we can look up those strings of text. But literally, if I just type in anything here, the website's going to see that it's not wget. And when we do that, it gives us the HTML output. It also gives us a little output on progress. So what we're going to add to our command is instead of just dash O, we're going to do a lowercase Q here. This is saying quiet. Don't tell me the process of downloading and what I'm connected to. Just dump the HTML. Boom. Bump my mic there. Okay. Uh, now, if we go back to the web page and uh, I hover over one of these images, is it going to give me anything? No. Let's go ahead and hit F12 to open up our developer tab, at least uh, in Brave or Chromium based ones. You have a developer console on pretty much every browser. The shortcut key to get to it might be different, but hopefully you know what it is for yours. F12 for any Chrome based browsers. Uh, then I'm going to click this little tab here and I'm going to just click on one of these and we can see that item uh, in there and I can see here, okay, so we got the thumbnail and then right here it gives us the source for apparently the HD version because it's images slash HD in the name of the file. So that's pretty much all we need to know. We can go back to our shell here, run this command again, but let's pipe it into grep and just real quick we're going to search for HD and see what comes up. So we get a number of things here, but we can see here that we have these images and it gives us what the name, you know, the alternate name for it is. We get the thumbnail URL and then we have the URL for the 
HD image, HD image. So, yeah, I mean, these are these are wallpapers. They're not going to be like multiple big megabyte files. They're going to, or yeah, megapixels is what I meant to say. Um, they're going to be standard desktop screen sizes, you know, 1080, maybe a little bit more, uh, 4K for some of them. So uh, you'll notice that the source for that image starts with a forward slash. Now, if it didn't have the forward slash or it was a dot forward slash, that means it's in a subdirectory of the current directory we're in, which if we go back to our web browser, we're in wallpapers.com forward slash laptop. But that's not what it gives us. It starts with a forward slash, which means the root directory for that website. So basically we just put the domain name in front of this. So uh, if I do now do wget, again, let's go ahead and give it a user dash agent of blah, blah, blah just so it doesn't think it's it's wget. And then in here, we'll say HTTPS probably. And we're going to say wallpapers.com. And then we'll paste the rest of that URL and we'll hit enter. And I'm pretty sure we just got our little image here. That's what that image looks like, little Android guy. By the way, I use the open command, which is actually just alias of on a Linux system of using X or xdg dash open is to open up a file with whatever the default program is. I just have it alias to open just to shorten it up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, so we have that uh, wallpaper in our file house, but we're not done. Let's go ahead and we're going to expand upon that and we're going to bulk download a whole bunch. So let's go ahead and go up here. Let me grab, not that one, but this command here. Oh, so we saw it. Let's grab a little bit more before we start putting this into a script or cut a little bit more. So I am now going to say cut dash D forward slash. And if we look at the example up here, uh, we're going to go by quotation marks. So for one of those lines, we have one, two, three, four, five, six for the thumbnail, seven, eight, for the uh, image there, which is different than when I tested this out earlier, this, things might be labeled on here more than once. Let's go ahead and do dash eight and see what we get, or sorry, that's dash F8. Okay, yeah, I must've counted wrong. Or maybe the last one, we got the last one there. 12 is gonna be the answer. But you notice we're getting other lines other than just the images. Some of these have resolutions on here. So we need to look at our output of the HTML and find something more unique, or at least two items that are unique to our images. So again, we're going to say in here, uh, HD. So we're going to grep HD. Oh, that's HG, A HD. And uh, the other lines are these source lines here. And we're actually grabbing the width of, and of these images. Uh, we want the image lines. So let's, instead of grepping for HD, let's grep for lines that have the image tag on it and then grep for HD. And then we will pipe that into cut with a delimiter of quotations field 12. And again, cut just basically we're saying quotations. It's gonna look at each line and each quotation. And we're gonna say, okay, uh, first quotation, this is column one, next quotation, column two, three, four, and the 12th one should be our image here. And I messed up by putting a double quote here. There we go. Now we have a list of images. So let's go ahead and take that line of code and start a script. So I'm gonna say vim, and I will call this wallpapers.sh, sure. Uh, this is gonna be a bash script. So we're gonna start off with our bash shebang. The shebang line just says what interpreter to use. So if we don't put that, the, 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 pro, the, the computer doesn't know, is this a, a Z shell script, an F uh, fish shell script, is it is it a Python script, is it a JavaScript? It doesn't know. That says use the bash interpreter because that's what we're going for. Let me pass this line and we're also gonna use some variables. So first of all, let's go uh, create a variable called domain and we'll set that equal to, well, not just the domain, but the HTTP and the domain there. Great, and then down here we can put in dollar sign domain. And then sometimes I put these curly brackets just to make it a little bit clearer, that's a variable. In this particular case, it's not necessary, but I think it looks nice. Okay, uh, another thing, so we did a topic. So if we go back to the website here, uh, we have different topics. 
if I go to the top here. So you can see that there's different ones here. And uh, we could grep through and get a bunch of those, uh, but I've actually already selected a few that I thought sounded familiar. Uh, we have 90s, 70s, 80s, laptop, and Doom, because I love me some original Doom and newer Doom stuff. I don't play too much, but wallpapers might be nice. Uh, so we have topics, Doom. So we're creating an array there. So this is an array that we're going to loop through, okay? And then we also, just for fun, let's go ahead and put our user agent up here. And I'm just going to write, Chris is awesome because it doesn't matter what we put in there for this particular thing, but I'll put it as a variable. So later on, if you want to put in a real user agent there, you don't have to change it in all the commands in the script. It's, it's right there. So let's go ahead and pop those variables into place. So here I'm going to say dollar sign agent. And then over here, uh, I'm just going to create a variable because we're going to loop through that and I'll just call it T. So let's go ahead and loop through that. We're going to say 4t in, and we're going to go topics. So we're going to loop through all the topics. We're going to say do and done, indent everything. So we're going to loop through each of these topics. So we're going to go 90s, 70s, 80s, laptop, doom. And again, I just selected some. You can also add on to the script to go through the entire website and go through all the topics. Although if you hit the website too much, they might end up blocking you. It is a possibility, although I've pulled down a bunch of stuff when I tested this out before and uh, I did not get blocked. So yeah, we're gonna loop through that and that will get us a list of images. And uh, I mean, we could pipe this into something else, but let's go ahead and actually just dump this into, cause it's gonna give us a list of images. We'll create a variable called images and it'll be the output of this, which uh, I actually don't think we want the quotations there because that would make it one solid thing and we want it to be multiple things. So now I just create an array of images, the URLs for the images. I call it images. It could have been URLs. Uh, but now let's loop through those. We're going to say for image in and we're going to say quotations. And then here we're going to say IMG bracket at sign. So again, we're just saying Here's an array of URLs or images. Let's loop through them. We're going to say do, done. And then up here, we're going to do another wget command, wget. And this is where we're going to actually start downloading the images. So we're going to get a list of images for the 90s first. Then we'll download all those. Then we'll go back and get a list of images for the 70s. Download those. Then we'll get a list of images for the 80s and so forth and so on. If we run the script more than once, we don't want to re-download those images. So I'm going to do dash C, which means continue. It's going to check, has this file been downloaded? If so, continue. If it was partially downloaded, uh, I mean, sorry, if it has been downloaded, skip this image. If it's partially downloaded, continue that image. And if it hasn't been downloaded at all, just start it all over again. So again, we do have to give it the user agent, our little fake user agent. And we're just going to say dollar sign agent. And then we're going to give it our domain forward slash. And in this case, it's going to be our image variable, our IMG variable that we created here and actually just caught a mistake. We want this to say images, okay? And that's pretty much it. We are done with our script. If I typed everything right, let's go ahead and make it executable. I will be putting this script up on Pastebin and I should put a link in the description of this video so you can get it there. Uh, and let's go ahead and run this script. And again, so if I list out, we have the one image we downloaded and our script. If I run our script now, look at it go. Let me go ahead and uh, open up my file browser here. There's no way it finished already. It's saying it finished already list. It didn't download anything. Oh, it downloaded the index. Let me see. I typed something wrong. It's okay. It's okay. I mess up too. And my mistake will be a good way to um, check on what uh, is, is a learning uh, topic for us. So I'm going to look at my notes over here and I'm going to look at my code. What did I? Oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. So we want the output of this command, but we want to put that into an array. So I need another set of um, 
parentheses around this line here. That's what I did wrong. Let's go ahead and run that again. Now it's going. And something's wrong. It's still not working right. It's still downloading the index.html multiple times. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Let's uh, go back into our script. Okay. Uh, I haven't tested it, but as soon as I stop, I paused the video. I think I realized what was wrong. I put uh, the squiggly brackets around the wrong part of this. There we go. Cross your fingers that I typed it right this time. Now it looks like it's going. I'm seeing the word JPEG in there. So let me uh, go ahead and, yep, there we go. You can see what we're downloading here. Now, obviously, the topic of laptop would be all laptop wallpapers. Uh, but when I'm doing the 90s or the 80s or the 70s, those topics, you see we're getting a lot of uh, phone wallpapers as well, which is something you can work out in your script depending on what topics you pull for. You could also, once they're pulled down, check the, um, the height and the width of these images and categorize them that way. Uh, but yeah, so again, I will put this script up on Pastebin with a link in the description of this video. And there you can get this whole script and tweak it to your delight to pull down as many uh, images from this website that you want. If they complain, don't blame me. <laughs> and, and, and you know, you can pick whatever topics you want and categorize them how you want. So that's it. Films by Chris.com. This video did take a little bit longer because I messed up a few times, a little bit longer than I wanted, but I appreciate you sticking with me. I hope you learned something. And uh, thank you to the viewer who uh, commented on my other video. Look, it's done already. Let's, let's list out all our JPEGs and let's word count those. We just downloaded 223 wallpapers for your desktop and or cell phone. So, there you go. Uh, again, thank you for commenting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this answer. This is just one example on website, but this is a similar thing you would do on pretty much any website. And um, yeah, I hope that you have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, my Patreon page uh, is one way to support me. Link in the description of this video. You can also support me through PayPal, LibrePay, or you can just mail me a check. That works too. Send, send me cash. Just put cash in an envelope. Uh, but if you go to my website, filmsbychris.com, there's a link to that in the description as well. There is a support section that will give you links to all those things. If you can't support financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. All those things are great. And I really appreciate your views. And I hope that you have a great day.